Look what the China boat brought in. Oh man, a lot of gauges. <laughs> They're not reading exactly the same. If you look at that one, compared to that, compared to that, compared to that, they're very close. But the other problem you see is that degrees C. Now, we don't do that here in the States here. What these are, are pipe thermometers. That's correct. That fits on the pipe, and then the spring secures it in place. I saw these somewhere in my travels in a video, and I said, oh, I could use that kind. Now, the most obvious solution for where to put these would be right over here for the washmatory. So I guess I'd mount them up here. Or I could mount them over here. Um, maybe there. I'm not really sure. Maybe there. Yeah. And the other three will go on the pipes of the boiler. This black pipe in the center is the um, feed pipe. And then you have one back there, the copper one with the pump, is a return, as is the other one over there, along with the light that I had put in in the previous video, or a previous video. This zone still has not called for heat yet. Um, whatever it is, it is. It just hasn't called yet. So we're just waiting, and uh, eventually it will. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and put these on. They hook on like this. You have to get the spring around that tab, and it can't just be a half-assed job. You have to really put it on there good, uh, because otherwise it'll just pop right off. And then that will hold it to the pipe, so let me get some of these installed and we'll see. Well, it's not going to fit on these pipes. These are too skinny. Oh, why? This is keyed. So, yeah, not, not great in that regard. But it'll definitely fit the other ones. Now, the question that may come to mind at this point is, why not degrees Fahrenheit? I simply couldn't find them at a reasonable price. This set of five gauges came in at about 15 bucks with tax. Uh, if I were to get a Fahrenheit one, it would have been around $15 for one gauge. Now, Celsius isn't that much of a problem because it's an easy conversion. We know that zero is freezing, and we know 100 is boiling in Celsius. So... There's a rough calculation that you can do. The actual formula is 1.8 C plus 32. So you take that number, which is currently reading, oh, let's say 22, 22 and a half, and multiply that by 1.8. So let's just multiply it by 2 to make it easy. 22 and a half is going to be 45 when you multiply it by 2. 45 plus 32 is going to be 77. And that probably is the temperature right in here because I'm right near the boiler as it is. So it's an easy conversion from there. Really not a big deal. For the boiler, oh, did you hear that click? There's my light. Beautiful. So while we're waiting, let's fire the boiler up and let that cook while I figure out the rest. There we go. So take a note of the temperature there and we'll see what it goes up to a little later. So like I said, it's a pretty easy conversion to at least get a rough guesstimate as far as what the actual temperature is in Fahrenheit. Uh, so that's one thing. And the other thing is I could also put a mark with like a Sharpie. Let's say it hits 80 degrees, so I can put a mark there and know that the boiler cooks up to about that temperature. And, you know, at least that way I'll have a baseline for where it goes and 
what I can expect in there. So meanwhile, the only thing I thought to do is to possibly shorten the spring, but as far as putting this nice hook on the end, I don't know. So I'm going to play with this a bit and see what I come up with. I just eyeballed it and guessed, and I guessed correctly. And I stretched it and went in there with a pair of uh, wire cutters and cut the spring. And then for the little piece there, I just sort of bent it with a pair of pliers enough that it would hook on. And over here, there it is. It'll hold. It's not going anywhere until the spring pops off, but it's there. So there's that. Two severed springs later there are the gauges. Now I was just handling this one on the right or maybe it's just totally fucked up compared to the left but I'm gonna start a wash with warm water and that way we could see what will happen to the temperature. Warm rinse. I'll just do a rinse because there's no need. Turn that on, turn that on and we're taking warm water. Now the hot is on the left, the cold is on the right, so the left one should start going up, and the right one, uh, I wonder if this is actually a good place for them, because these are feeding the sink, so I may actually have to put them up there. Alright, well, let's just wait a little bit and see. That's cold. That's hot. And the pipe is hot there. Yeah, I gotta move these, so unfortunately they can't go there. But meanwhile, over here, we are gauging. Up to about 40. About 40. And about 40. There we go. And you can already see the hot is higher than the cold, so let me put the water back on. And apparently I have a lot of glare, at least in the camera. Left is reading 24. I'm sorry, the right is reading 24. The right, the... Her schmeggle daggle, what the fuck is it? Did the weed change your body? Hey, the water is off. Ranji Chadaba. The Sata Pachakaya. French Gachacharata. Pasha! Ushi Paya Paka Shippa Wilia Waka Yaha. Ushi Paka. Boy, that was good. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Life was shot at Schmickish Bosch. Baji Baji Ba. Baji Baji Ba. The Harvey Baji Ba. Baji Kenji Baji. Little Pucker Channel with a punchung. Rachi. Ocha. Rush. Chicken Choya. I'll get these directions straight one of these years. The left one is creeping up past 30. This one is reading still around 24 or so. The left one wasn't straight, I just fixed that. They just kind of sit there. But that certainly went up from what it was. And that one may have crept down a little bit too. So are they accurate? They're about three dollars accurate. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean this one here is reading what 35? Almost 35 it's getting on. So 35 is going to be 70 plus 32 is 102. I don't know what the water heater is set to. This one has certainly crept down, going to about almost 20 now. So that's working. So these don't read as well as I thought they were. They, they would. Uh, that's kind of unfortunate. I don't know if it has to do with the smaller diameter of the pipe or what. But these didn't end up working out as well as I had hoped. The other ones though, look at that. 50 something. And over here, getting somewhere. And over here, wow, that one's way up. So the returns are hotter than the feed. Again, they're only about $3 accurate, so 
not super duper, but considering it was reading 20 before, oh, they're, they're gauging all right. They're definitely gauging. A little wash action while we're here. Nothing in it. Yes, that is the color of the water. That's how it is around here. But for the privilege of having such nicely discolored water, I get to pay some of the highest water prices in the nation. Isn't that nice? And my water company is being sold. <laughs> the new one is only going to raise prices. They're not going to do anything. So anyway, that's doing its thing. And the gauges are oh, about almost 80 or almost 60. So that would be 120 plus 32 or 152. Boiler is set to, I don't know, 180 maybe? So like I said, they're $3 accurate. Pretty good. Just looks cool having the three gauges there. Looks serious. And these ended up about here, so we read, what, 38 almost? So that's going to be 72, 76 rather. And over here we're reading about 20, so that's going to be 40 plus 32. About 72. I think the water is colder than that. So they are $3 accurate. And uh, it wasn't that much of a great deal with the wash, unfortunately. We did some blankets the other day, so there's a lot of lint and crap. So I wanted to do a rinse anyway. Because cats. There's some floating stuff right there, in fact. So we'll let it do its thing. Thank you for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.